everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. Hey, remember, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Honestly, I'm not really sure why I was whispering. But before we hop into the video, we do have Corn Star Farms merch available through the link in the description. So if you want to pick up a sweet hat or some really nice soft shirts, you can order through the link in the description. <laughs> Okie dokie, I have to go meet with a crop insurance agent. Fun, fun, fun. We have one field that we're pretty sure is flat. Well, this is kind of what we're looking at through the whole farm. You know, we definitely had some yield potential in this field, but this corn is snapped off down on the ground to a point where I really don't think we'd be able to pick it up with corn head. You're predicting what? 400 bushels an acre, maybe? At least. Please. No, this is pretty typical of what we've been seeing. Is it? Yeah, throughout, throughout the entire area. We got insurance on it, but it's not like a good crop. It just basically covers your cost. Yeah, but maybe. So this was the last cornfield that we planted. It's coming at 19.8%, so we figured we're handpicking. If the combine was actually running through this, we'd add a couple points to that. But kind of the bummer news is this field had a lot of yield potential. Like this year right here, if the whole field did this, it'd be 270 bushel corn. Well, that was actually a pretty simple process. We ended up totaling out the field, but now that we're done with that, we have to wait till the ground kind of dries up from last night's dew. So while that's going on, I'm going to do a little bit more yard work. Yes, I know, yard work. So this center spot of my yard is the little point. So that's where all the water goes. And the week that I planted my yard, we got like five inches of rain. Now it's nice and easy rain, but it was still enough to cause some washouts. And I think when we planted it, a lot of the grass seed got washed down to the bottom. So I brought the skid loader over and we're just gonna bring in some fresh dirt onto all these ruts and stuff. I'm basically going to be redoing the center part. And then we'll reseed this and then we'll get it watered. My window for planting grass seed is getting shorter and shorter every day. So I'd really like to get this done today if I can. You might as well go along with me. I was gonna leave you back on the garbage can watching me from a distance, but that ain't very fair. You need to be right there beside me. So I'm gonna take you along. We're gonna check the oil in the combine before we start everything up, just in case. What if you had a little leak, a little water runs out, you know, it could cost you a engine. So we try to check everything in the morning. And then if we stop for dinner and things are sitting there, maybe check it again. Here down in there is the radiator. Okay, we got that open. We're gonna check the engine oil. We got a couple sickles to change on the bean head. Whee! These blades are supposed to look like this. This one here's got a notch. That won't cut our row of beans like we want it. So we're gonna blame that one on coal. This little guard here is supposed to be a point, a point, a point, and here is a point, busted off point, a point. So we got to replace that. We have a bad blade there. Sometimes it goes really easy, sometimes it doesn't. Today, now that I'm filming it, no, it won't go easy. Oh, we need a new one. I wonder where we got some of it. Ah, then I dropped my tools. I dropped my tools. No. Ooh, take a whole bunch of stuff off here. Good job, Cole. Oh, what do we got there, guys and girls? See, this one's supposed to look just like this one, and this one's broke. Now, we just gotta get this seated. We gotta get the sprinkler over here, and we gotta get this watered. But my tummy's getting hungry. I'm gonna go in and eat, and it sounds like after we're done eating, we're gonna go look at the beans, see if they can go. So if that's the case, I'm gonna have to seed this tonight once it gets dark. Cooper last night, and I don't remember where I set my glasses now, but last night, Cooper brought in the case 340. We were having some issues. We weren't getting our lights to work on the cart and we had some lights on the tractor not working. We got the ones on the cart working, but we still got a few on the tractor that we're not able to get going yet. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hey buddy, get over here. Say hi. Oh, let's lay down. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, we better get things ready because Cole's going to be here pretty soon or Cooper's going to be home pretty soon. They want to get that combine running. Okay. I just got done eating lunch. We think the beans have dried out enough, so we're going to give them a go. You can always tell who was running the combine based on how the seat was set. Dad runs it up super high and full of air. Cooper runs it up pretty high and fairly full of air. And I don't put any air in it because it puts my feet too far off the ground. It cuts the circulation off of my legs and my legs fall asleep. Not a lot of clearance between the auger and the grain cart. Ah, uh, I guess that means next we're gonna have to upgrade combines. So the first field we're doing here is right around Dad's house. It's a 77 acre farm. I probably have 
five acres left maybe. And then we'll go to our next field, which is also 77 acres. Normally if we're just driving down the road and we don't have very far to go, we just keep the head on. But in this case, we have to go across the bridge and there's poles on the side and our head doesn't go high enough to go over them. So the old head's coming off. So now Cooper pulled up with the header trailer. We're gonna take the bean head off and then head over to that field. Not gonna lie, auto steer is pretty nice. Hands free, baby. We should have auto steer for the grain cart later this week. We got all the cart A software from Ag Leader, but we need to get a Wi Fi modem that's actually hooked up to the internet. We got the modem, but we don't have the plan hooked up yet. So hopefully later this week we'll be able to get that rolling. And then Cooper will have auto steer over there in the grain cart. I'll have auto steer in this. Well, I just get to stand around for a little bit waiting for Cooper. I think Cooper's driving the grain cart. He'll bring a load of beans over here in a little while. The boys said they were kind of opening up this field across the creek. Creek, creek, however you want to say it. So I'm going to jump across to one of our cornfields over here, see how things are looking. This certain field I'm walking in right now, overall, it's not twisted up too bad, but I think what's going to happen this fall, we're going to pull in an area, might not be too bad. And then you might come to a spot that might be mangled up. That actually is a pretty good sized little ear. Kernels don't look too bad. As you can see, the stand is kind of so-so through here. It's not super dry yet. I'm guessing maybe 24. 25%. Dad just got done radioing in and he said the last field we were at, which is the one right around the main heated shop, did 48 bushels an acre. Not great, but it could have been worse. So in the field we're in right now, we call this the Hanson Farm. We've done 18 acres so far and it seems to be yielding really similar to the last field we were just in oh boy we almost have our first 100 acres of soybeans harvested only 500 more to go and then we get to go to corn this harvest here this is actually my third harvest without my dad my dad passed away two years ago but this will be our third harvest without him out here the first year after dad passed away it was absolutely horrible i mean it was just the boys were great help, everybody's great help, but it was just missing my dad. And then last year, things seemed a lot better, but not perfect, because, you know, I was so used to leaning on him. I tell you what, in the last year, Cole and Cooper, they have stepped up the plate so much that going into this year harvest, I just feel more relaxed. I feel like we can do it. We can do it, and I know we can. So, you know, any of you that's gone through any kind of changes in your life, job loss, whatever, don't leave your family out because they're the ones that are going to get you through it and you're good friends. So what I wanted to say was thank you, Cole Cooper in summer. You guys have always been there for me. Mama Cornstar has always been there for me. And I know Mama Cornstar a few times says, you can do it. You can do it. You've done this for all these years. So you need that push. So you on the other side too that know somebody has lost someone, be there for them because they need it. They need it. That green car holds a thousand bushels, so it'll fill an entire semi in one fill. It takes me roughly three unloads on the go to fill him full. We try to do a load on the goes because it's the most efficient way. That way the combine never has to stop. Mama Cornstar came out to see me. I better look both ways so I don't get ran over. That was really, really nice. Mama Cornstar, she was kind of at a Zoom home and now she's heading to a meeting, but she stopped to say hi. So it was nice seeing Mama Cornstar. Want to get over to the co-op tonight. They close at seven o'clock. I just heard a big boom and my head stopped. Looks like we got ourselves a little log. So this is the switch that I use to turn my head on. If I push it forward, it turns it on normal, but if I pull it backwards, then it makes the head go in reverse. So Cooper just pulled up and he's gonna watch from down below to make sure that that piece doesn't get caught on like a piece of metal or something, because it could bend that bottom sheet metal. We've had that happen before and it's kind of annoying. We got Cole running the combine. I'm pulling the grain cart back there. I haven't really driven this much. I can't believe how smooth it is. Right now we're cruising across the field about 
10 miles per hour and you hardly even feel the ground. It's just like you're riding on air. Hey, we have help for our auto steer. Pete's making a night call. Working on checking settings and measurements and then we'll uh, try it out. Once we got that straightened out, we'll go to work here. Basically what happens is, is like we're off by like six inches and we don't know why. All right, dad, you're under pressure. Don't spill. This part's easy to unload. <laughs> this tractor's so tall, it's just ridiculous. We just got inside. It's 11.32 in the evening. I just heated up some leftovers in the old microwave. We got everything figured out on the combine. Well, at least I think we did. I need to do a little bit more dialing in on it, but we think we figured out the issue. We got Cardi set up in the grain cart, so now we have auto steer in both the combine and the grain cart. But I'm going to eat my supper, hop in the shower, and I'm going to go to bed. So thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And don't forget about Cornstar Farms merch. You can order that through the link in the description. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.